Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got done filming part one, one of this video. Um, so as you saw in the title, and hopefully you watched the last one, um, but this is my Harry Potter Times Bath and Body Works uh, video. It's where I kind of take different Harry Potter characters and I've smelled all sorts of different candles and kind of figured out who might be who. Um, this was a trend on TikTok for a while and um, I actually posted a video that I will link down below of the different fall scents and who I thought they might be. Um, and none of these are overlapping. None of these scents are. These are all different scents. Um, most of them are from this year. Um, yeah, Bath and Body Works had a buy one get one free sale. I definitely stocked up on candles that day. Um, and so I've got my list here of characters and people that uh, you guys wanted to see. And so, yeah, uh, let's get started. And if I don't mention someone in this video or my last one, um, check out my first video as I tried not to duplicate anyone. I don't think I duplicated anyone in this video. Um, and I think I only maybe did one or two in the last one. So they're all different characters. And so if your person that you really want is not in this video, go watch my other two. Um, and or comment down below because I might not have done them yet. And if I haven't done them yet, then maybe I'll make another video um, next month or the month after um, of different scents and different people. Because, um, yeah, I would love to figure out who, like, Lucius, which can of Lucius smells like, and I haven't done him yet. Um, and so I have others, too, that I might want to do. Um, and so comment down below or comment down below even, like, other fandoms. Um, you know, it'd be fun to do, like, maybe do Marvel um, in the springtime, um, you know, comment down below what you guys think. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first we have Hagrid. Good old Hagrid. Um, I feel like he's Fireside, not Marshmallow Fireside, but just Fireside. This is smoked cedar, <laughs> fresh clove bud, warm embers with essential oils. And it just smells like I imagine in the first book, um, when like Ron, Hermione, and Harry go over to Hagrid's for the first or second time, um, and he's got a fire going, um, for his dragon, um, that he, you know, it just smells like warm embers. And that's what this smells like. It just smells like bark and warm embers. And I just feel like that's what Hagrid's house smells like and Hagrid himself smells like um and yeah I just think this is like a perfect Hagrid scent um and I think it's just a really good like homey woodsy like wood cabin um smell so highly recommend that one um next I have Madame Pumphrey um a couple people suggested her and I don't want to do her wrong by guessing a wrong scent. So if anyone has any ideas, please comment down below. Um, but this is kind of my guess, is Winter Snowfall. Um, and the notes are crisp blue sage, iced rosemary, dried cedarwood with essential oils. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. I just could see this being Madame Pumphrey. Um, I don't know. There's just something about it that I'm like, that could be her. Her sweet little healer self. Um, I don't know. And then next, I don't know about this one either. Um, there's quite a few in this that I'm like, ooh, I don't really fully know. But I feel they're all imaginary, like, characters. And so we're all up to our own interpretation. And mine might be completely different than someone else's. Um which is the cool thing. Um, and so if you think something different down below, please comment. Um, cause I would love to just hear, um, different people's opinions and stuff. But next I have Professor Sprout and I have Tree Farm, um, which this jar is stunning by the way. It's a wraparound, look at the little truck. Um, 
but the scents are crisp pine needle warm cedar spiced apple with essential oils um you know why i think this is her because it's woodsy and it's like herby um which she is the herbology professor so i don't know i just feel like it could be her and it just it's also got that homey little like the homey scent and yeah i think it's her especially like at christmas time when um i don't know you're just like I feel like mandrakes would smell like pine needles for some reason, which they probably don't. <laughs> but there we go. That tree farm smells like a mandrake, <laughs> which therefore that's what Professor Sprout smells like. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but next I have Snape, um, which this one I think you can only get online. Um, and this is Palo Santo. Um, and it's Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk with essential oils. People also said he would be like a mahogany teak wood. And I just have like mahogany scents set aside for Sirius Black. So, um, and teak wood scents. Last, I think I said he was black teak wood. Um, but, so I don't see Snape being mahogany teak wood at all. Um, but I feel like Palo Santo, Santo, whatever, um, I don't know. It's just, it's got, like, that musk. And, you know, with him being, like, mixing up stuff, I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like this would be him. It's got, like, a manly dark scent. And hot take, I don't like Snape, so, but I do like this candle. So maybe it's not Snape. Maybe this is Lucius, but not it's Snape. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, it's all our own interpretation, so we can change it how we want to. Um, <laughs> next I have Fred and George. And these were hard because I know people are opinionated and I know a lot of people say that they're like foodie scents. Um, which I could totally see because of, like, their wizarding wheezes. Um, and so, yeah, I do see them being, um, foodie scents. And I see George, both of them have cinnamon. Um, George, I see being cinnamon Irish cream. Um, and this is cinnamon spiced liqueur, Irish cream, French vanilla with essential oils. Um... And I, I could see, I very much see George being this. It, <laughs> um, <laughs> I see George being this. I don't know why, um, but I do. It's like got that soft, like the cinnamon's not too strong. Um, I'd imagine when you would burn it, it would be stronger. Um, but it's got that like Irish cream to it. And then Fred, I believe he would be cinnamon caramel swirl because yeah this has like the irish cream has more of like the creams <laughs> the cream smell and this has more of a caramel um no but that has more of like a soft note to it and this has more of like a buttery note if that makes sense uh which the notes on this are literally cinnamon caramel swirl with essential oils um and yeah the caramel is more like buttery and um more out there than the cinnamon irish cream which i feel like that is the twins um fred's a little more out there than george um and then next i have y'all's favorite crazy um and her sister <laughs> um so these two go together obviously it's bellatrix and narcissa um so I have Bellatrix being spiced apple toddy and Narcissa being black cherry merlot. Um, Bellatrix spiced apple toddy. This is warm apple brandy, spiced plum, tart cranberry, and cinnamon stick with essential oils. And it has a lot of cinnamon in it. 
and I don't know it's just it's got this darkness to it um and maybe that's the warm apple brandy um but I could also see her just like after a really long day hexing people for the dark lord her sitting down with a spiced apple toddy to take her mind off of things I don't know but then her sister being black cherry merlot because this has a sweeter note to it um and I feel like Narcissa has to be sweeter than Bellatrix because Bellatrix is a little crazy a lot crazy um but black cherry merlot is dark cherry black raspberry and merlot and I could also see Narcissa at the end of the day drinking a black cherry merlot um or just merlot in general um and so I like these for them um because they kind of go hand in hand and they have like this darkness about them um which they obviously have about them um and yeah I feel I like that for them and next um and last on this candle adventure um is Lily Evans sweet sweet Lily um and I have grateful the first time I smelled this um which grateful is just frosted cranberry I just realized it's frosted cranberry <laughs> lol um but yeah grateful frosted cranberry but first time I smelled this I was like this is Lily this is Lily Evans um, it's iced cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and taka bean with essential oils. This really might be one that I did last time also. And honestly, if I'm thinking about it, I might have put her as frosted cranberry last time. Um, but yes, I feel like I feel like she is frosted cranberry, but I also feel like grateful suits her, even with it being frosted cranberry. Um so yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Um, my brain, I guess, was not functioning when I saw this candle. Um, cause sometimes I just go in there and I pick up candles and I smell them and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is this person. Oh my gosh. Um, what was it? Fall, uh, when I smell, I think it was Fall Farmhouse. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the burrow. Um, and I brought it home. Um. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not 100% sure if it was Fall Farmhouse, but I'm, I'm thinking it was. Um, all my candles are over here, so I'm looking at them. Um, but yeah, this one very much gives me Lily Evans vibes. It's got that like sweet note to it, and she was surrounded by the crazies um <laughs> the crazies in a good way you know like james potter Sirius black remus lubin and peter Pettigrew. um he's not a crazy in the good way but the rest of them are crazies in good ways um but yeah i just feel like this was very much her and her sweetness to that crazy um and they're her femininity to the masculinity um yeah I just feel like this is her it suits her um yeah um these are my candles for those different characters um my other video had um some of the younger cast in it such as like Oliver and Cho Chang and Pansy Perkins and people like that um, and so for sure go watch that and my first video I made had um, like the golden trio, the silver trio, the marauders, um, I had Minerva, Dumbledore, um, Molly Weasley slash the burrow um, and I think maybe a few other people but yeah let me down know down below if there's others <laughs> that you want me to do um, or other fandoms as I find this really fun and you know I burn candles um and some of these I'm gonna give as gifts and so I think that's the fun thing is you know I'm gonna buy a butt ton of candles anyways might as well have fun with it um and so yeah um I will see you guys next time peace <laughs>